anyone who loves our Disney rides, come on over. Our Imaginary Ride Engineers come together from a diverse range of engineering backgrounds to design and build some of the safest and most innovative and reliable systems in the world. Ride Engineers are responsible for every aspect of ride system development from the first concept through testing in the parks. They bring solutions and technical challenges and partner with diverse creative talent to design and build Disney's one-of-a-kind experiences. And here to help us talk about our new ride development and a creative approach to engineering is Dave Crawford helping on the big Crawford. Hi. 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 That was awesome. Yeah, so this is Dave Crawford in a 30-year career that has spanned leadership positions in both entertainment and aerospace. Dave Crawford has consistently led diverse, cross-discipline teams towards challenging roles focused on developing innovative new products and experiences for the public. While currently responsible for new ride systems at Walt Disney Imagineering, Dave has also engineered teams responsible for actual rides to space. <laughs> Dave received his degree in mechanical engineering from UCLA at Go Bruins and is a licensed professional engineer listed as an inventor on over 70 patents. Dave has deep experience in every phase of engineering, design, and development from early concept for installation, turnover, certification, primarily the development of prototypical life safety transportation systems. He's a strong believer that leadership and success come down to support, preparing, and enablement of the team. Welcome, Dave. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here today. This is like the most awesome thing ever. And uh, I wanted to thank all of you for being here. How's the 23 going? How's the 23 going? Nice. All right. Well, uh, thank you again for having me. Um, I'm excited to talk about ride development and how we create new ride platforms. I think that this is critical to being able to deliver compelling new experiences for all of you in our parks. And we're going to talk a little bit about what ride development is, our process for doing it, and then highlight a few specific examples that I'm sure you all are very familiar with. So, to get started about a little bit about my background, uh, I joined Walt Disney Imagineering about 25 years ago, and I started as a ride engineer, doing design and delivery as a product engineer on a variety of attractions, mostly down here at Disneyland. Uh, Winnie the Pooh, any good things? Winnie the Pooh, Bucks Land. Uh, the way that we did quite a while ago, um, and I uh, really loved that. But uh, after about nine years, I had an opportunity to move into creative to lead upfront feasibility work for our Blue Sky team. So I got to work with some of the best creative directors and story writers at Imagineering, thinking about how we could actually achieve the visions that they were pulling together. After five years of that, I transferred into R&D and got to work with some of the most you know, amazing inventors, including Lanny Smoot, who was just up here on the center stage, and a bunch of the people that are back there in that portion of the, uh, of the pavilion, and uh, really think about how we utilize new technologies to create compelling new experiences in our parks. And all of that kind of eventually led me back to the right engineering team to, uh, to lead in right development and bring together the best processes for creative, from R&D, and engineering to look at how we uh, conceive and prototype new right platforms. And, uh, and that's a really challenging thing because the requirements that we have uh, for our right systems in Disney parks typically exceed you know, vehicle engineering in almost any other industry. Our reliability, our duty cycle, our safety, are, are above and above almost any other industry out there. So it's really exciting to do that. Now we're going to talk today about, about ride development, and that focuses on the ride system component of the attraction. And the ride, the ride is basically a big machine. It's a big machine whose sole purpose is to deliver an experience. And it's got to be that experience every hour, every day, every month, year after year after year, reliably, safely, and some of the highest speed cycles around. So, um, so it's really exciting. And it involves a lot of innovation, a lot of experimentation, and honestly, a lot of failure. Because <laughs> when you're doing something that no one's ever done before, it's hard to get it right the first time. So you have to take some risks and take some chances. But we do that in the development environment before we put it into a project. And all of that starts, as many things do at Disney, with brainstorming. So once a creative director 
defines an experience that they want to deliver in one of our parks, we get together and we think about a whole bunch of different ways that that can actually be done. How can we achieve that experience with the most invisible you know, engineering and mechanism possible? And so we look at a whole bunch of different ideas, a whole bunch of different concepts, and then we have to narrow it down to the most viable one that we think is you know, the best capable of delivering on that, that experience. And at this point, it's important for us to be able to visualize it, to explain it, to put the same picture in everyone's head so that we can make responsible decisions. And so we use things like game engines, or in some cases, more sophisticated simulations, to, to develop visualizations to show this is what we want to do, this is how we want to approach this new experience. And if something's been done before, or there's obvious solutions for it on the market, then we don't spend too much time focusing on it. What we want to focus is on the risk areas. Technical risk, creative risk, and business risk. And so technical risk is, is there a technology out there that can allow us to achieve this experience? Is there something that exists? Creative risk is about how does it feel? Do we know how it feels or do we have to like demonstrate that? And then business risk is all about you know, maintainability, operations, capacity, and throughput. Because the best experience ever that is not available to ride ever is not a, is not an option. So this particular attraction, an example, who I'm sure many people here may be guessing what a, a, a ride this eventually became. Um, the risk here was not technical. We've done coasters, we've done swinging guest compartments, um, we've done propulsion systems on rails like this. The risk was really creative. How does this feel? Is it is it going to be fun? Is it going to be exciting? Is it going to make people motion sick? Don't want to do that. So. Um, there's only one way to figure that out, right? Who knows? Just yell it out. We gotta test it, right? We gotta build it. Now, we don't have to build the whole attraction, but we have to build something that gives us the sensation of being on that attraction. And so here was our prototype, our mock-up for that ride, and this allowed us to demonstrate the feeling that this attraction would eventually have. And yeah, it looks, you know, rudimentary. We drove this thing around in the uh, back lot of our uh, campus over in Glendale for about two weeks, putting everyone we could in the office on it, asking them, is it fun? Is it exciting? Does it make you feel less sick? And slowly but surely kind of fine tune that experience to something that we were really happy with and really excited about delivering to our guests. And uh, this, is, this is a typical process for a lot of the early, you know, ride prototypes and models. It's just how quick, easy, and efficient you can build something that gives you that sensation. This was a lot of fun. Are you driving the wheel? I think I'm driving the truck, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to stay, stay on track. All right. Um, and so at this point, what's the, the next step in the process is really marrying that, that ride platform to a specific creative concept. Um, at a specific site. And so we want to look at what is the theme, what is the story that we're going to tell with it. And once we uh, fine tune the experience specifically for that site, for that story, then all you have to do is just design, engineer, and build it. Um, and so this was obviously our Seven Dwarfs Line coaster, you know, providing enjoyment for millions of guests uh, at Walt Disney World and Shanghai. And a really successful attraction, a really neat development that, um, that led to a uh, a brand new type of ride system for us. But this isn't the only one. We do this anytime we're looking at something new and different that hasn't been done before. So here's a few uh, a few ones uh, that I'd like to just talk about real quickly. Does anyone know what the top attraction is? Shout it out. Which one? Smoker's Run. Smoker's Run. Smoker's Run. Yep. So this is our uh, Millennium Falcon Smoker's Run attraction. And this, this was about technical risk. Um, we had to explore uh, real-time rendered environments on vehicles that were um, responsive to and interacting with the riders. Uh, so very early prototype of that system to demonstrate the capabilities and our, our ability to be successful with it. Uh, second one, everyone knows that. Sorry. But I mean, this, is, this is just a favorite across all of our parks. Um, and this was more creative risk. Uh, we had to be able to load people in a really efficient vertical position and then move them up in front of the screen. And so some of the early prototypes were really done with vector sets to show how that mechanism would work and how it would move a really amazing attraction. And the third one, Shanghai Pirates. This was the first implementation of underwater linear synchronous motors, LSMs. And those LSMs are able to 
um, give us really good positioning and propulsion of those boats throughout the attraction, unlike our our uh, California Anaheim uh, Pirates that's more a boat and a flume. So really exciting technology development there that delivers a very unique and exciting experience. So across the board, you know, we, we really get excited about development efforts because it means we're doing something new, we're doing something different, and we're always excited about bringing it into the park and letting people ride it. But sometimes we just like to have fun and experiment a little bit and try something new and different. And so this, this was literally an attempt to say, what would it be like to sit side saddle on Dumbo? <laughs> and so we did it, and we gave it a try to see how it would feel, and it was very fun and exciting. And so sometimes we're just trying something new and different that will lead us into new creative directions and opportunities um, without knowing exactly where we're going to end up. So very exciting stuff. Um, ultimately, you know, we have a lot of platforms on the engineering end and, and ride platforms to tell our stories. We have coasters, dark rides, water rides, and of course my favorite, the one of a kind, things that have never been done before. And so we, we're always looking at that. The, the engineering efforts are always in service of the creative intent. How do we tell the story? How do we deliver on the creative experience? Um, and it's really interesting because I think in, in other industries uh, that are very tech heavy and engineering centered, you know, the, the form uh, is, is efficient for the function. Things look like they look because that's the most efficient form for them to do their job. At Imaginarium, it's exciting because the form is predefined and we have to fit the function inside of it. So it presents some really interesting challenges for the engineering teams. And the last thing I want to just mention is that it's it's all about the team. Um, you know, there are very few aha light bulb moments. It's hard work, it's it's collaboration, it's a team coming together to just work through all the details, all the risks, all the opportunities, you know, point by point, failure by failure, to get to the end that uh, really results in something new and amazing for our guests. So really excited to be a part of that. That's incredible. I want to ask you to maybe share with our guests here. So the great thing about ride development is it's not engineering specific, though it is engineering heavy. <laughs> but we have creative directors, story writers, show producers, lots of different people and capabilities that all come together to do this. For engineers, um, it's a really exciting thing because of the, the R&D and the iteration. So you know, being okay with failure, being very curious, you know, always pushing through um, tough times where it didn't go the direction that you want, and staying optimistic and positive is really important. Uh, my background is mechanical engineering, but uh, we use electrical engineers, software engineers, uh, industrial designers. Uh, they're all part of this and bringing it together. So um, obviously on the tech side, it's, it's about you know, getting into those engineering curriculums and programs, building your experience, and always, always trying to move the direction of something new and different. That is absolutely fantastic. Can we just get a round of applause for